Hey everybody, I'm John Elliott Churchville, and in today's Hump Day Power Thought, I'll begin by talking about the importance of your level of awareness. Now, there are seven levels of awareness, the first of which is animal instinct. At this level of awareness, you react to outside stimuli by either fighting or fleeing without thinking at all. This is how you behaved as a child. This is not how you should be behaving now. The second level of awareness is following the masses and your own paradigm, those habits of other people that were placed into your unconscious. As you grow in childhood, you began to follow the fads and fashions around you by modeling the behavior of the majority of people whom you observed. Now, that's normal behavior for a child who's going and growing through the particular um, uh, following stage of growth. But it's not normal behavior for the self-directed person that you are now becoming. The third level of awareness is when you decide to stop following the masses and you begin to aspire for something more for your life than just the daily grind, the sameness and boredom of being a duplicate of someone else. The fourth level of awareness is where you begin to express yourself as an individual who is not controlled by the behavior, beliefs, and attitudes of the masses. This is where you begin to see and express your uniqueness, your difference, what sets you apart from others. The fifth level of awareness is when you realize that to be different is to decide to discipline yourself. This is where you give yourself a command and then you obey it, you follow it. The sixth level of awareness is the experience you learn from when you discipline yourself. It is here that you notice that your changed actions and behaviors get you different and better results. Finally, the seventh level of awareness is self-mastery, where you no longer react to outside stimuli. You respond to it by thinking your own thoughts and planning how you will implement your plan. Even before you discover your purpose in life, you must prepare yourself to succeed in that purpose once you discover it. Finding your purpose in life it's like doing your due diligence before you invest in a, bill, uh, in a business that you will live with and own for the rest of your life. It requires that you think at a level you have not thought at before. It requires that you develop an entrepreneurial mindset. The power of an entrepreneurial mindset will take you from slavery and dependence to freedom and independence. It will change how you see yourself, your life, your family, your work, your relationships, your world, and your place and space in it. The power of an entrepreneurial mindset is so enormous that it can move you from surviving to thriving and from success to significance. Mindset is the way you think, what you think about most, and the process you use when you think. More pointedly, in order to be successful in your own business, you must adopt an entrepreneurial mindset, a way of thinking that seeks to maximize your own personal development and highest and best use, and the highest and best use of the resources you receive and the resources you create. An entrepreneurial mindset is the rock solid foundation for success in life, regardless of whether you function in business, the nonprofit sector, politics, or government. Once you embrace your own entrepreneurial mindset, you must develop a dynamic personal philosophy that values your own personal internal growth and development as the primary byproduct of the life you live, the work you do, and the goals you set for yourself and your family. Such a personal philosophy is dynamic in the sense that it expands and contracts depending on whether you grow or shrink in your thinking and behavior. 
the purpose for creating a dynamic personal philosophy is to provide yourself with a blueprint, a roadmap, a system that will guide your thinking and behavior to the goals you've set for yourself. A blueprint, roadmap, or system is a set of detailed methods, procedures, and routines established or formulated to carry out a specific activity, perform a duty, or solve a problem in a routinized, predictable way. Thus, a system is a tested, tried and true program that if followed will always yield the result for which it was created. If you use and follow a blueprint for building a house, a roadmap, for getting to a specific destination, or a sales and marketing system, you will always get the same predictable result. A house built to specifications, a journey completed, a financial goal met. I'm John Elliott Churchill, certified speaker, teacher, trainer, DISC behavioral analysis consultant, and coach with the John Maxwell team.